Okay, nice. So I call for my martial force to assemble and my war party's here. I want to take out Quaim. Let's take them out. I'm going to try to back out after every 250 kills or so. And hopefully that will fix the glitch that's happening. These guys have pretty bad armor, so we are shredding them a bit. But they actually have a lot of casters. Oh, whoops. Fuck. Am I dead? Damn, I died. Okay, so about 250 of their guys have died, so I'm gonna back out now and check how many they have left. Um, it does seem to be the correct amount, so... I think that if I just keep backing out after every 250 kills, that'll fix this glitch. Wow, what the fuck? Am I dead already? Please. That's cringe. That is so cringe. Damn, their lightning cells are destroying us. What the hell is going on? I used to think that these guys were one of the weakest factions, but now I think they're one of the strongest because of their spellcasters. We have the Trollocs coming in now, so that might help. But yeah, when they have enemy spellcasters, it's best to just stay back in bow. Especially if they have like seeker spells or something. Okay, nice. So this should be the final attack. I think that we do have enough troops. It seems like we do. Yeah, we definitely do. All right, let's take out Quaim. Fuck. Why do they aim for me? I'm in the back. This is a massacre. Okay, we did it. Nice. Good job. Okay, I think the next target I'm going to take out will be Trazen because it only has 300. So it's a pretty easy way to lower their strength a little bit if I take that out. The amount of thieves a lord has is directly tied to how many troops they can field. This looks like a great lord to recruit. Shadow Spawn Noble of the city state of Mayin. She did agree to join me. Katrin or Katarine Alruden. And yeah, I'm pretty much just making a killing by recruiting all these disgruntled Shadow Spawn Lords. I guess that's the strategy. I'm going to try again. Alviarin Friedhen. And actually, she's a prisoner of the Aiel right now. They're in the desert over here. And I noticed that when people are prisoners, they usually have a really low relationship with their own king. And I think that the longer they're prisoner, they slowly start to lose relationship with their king over time. So that makes them great targets to try to recruit. And yeah, no one has actually like asked to join me yet. I've had to ask everyone to join me. So the diplomacy mod definitely makes things a lot different from the normal game. Uh, okay, it did not work. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we are being assaulted, but I'm going to sneak in and attack Trossen while they're not paying attention. So nice. If I get this, this is huge. Oh, wait, we got attacked. Um, shit, we got to fight this. So for whatever reason, this guy is too scared to help. So we'll take that. Shit, I got dehorsed. Fuck. Whoa, that crossbow? I think the archer killed me, actually. Which is surprising since he looks like a scrub. Nah, it must have been someone else. Okay, nice, we prevailed against them. Wow. Okay, nice. We won. Okay, so fighting a war on three fronts is pretty bad. So let's try to get some truce. 
with the two rivers. Nice. Okay, nice. So he agreed. Now I can focus all of our efforts onto the sea folk. That's just what I wanted. Actually, never mind. I wanted to finish off tier because this castle only has 300 troops in it. So something really overpowered I figured out is that if any of your vassals will not follow you when you ask for your martial force to group up, you just talk to them and give them the task to follow you and then they'll be obedient. And I'll do it for this guy too. And now they'll pretty much just follow you. And I don't know because this seems really overpowered. Like even if they have a really bad relationship with you, they'll follow you. So yeah, it just seems really overpowered. Um, let's take out this final tier castle. There's only 300 in here, so this should be the end of them. What? I don't think I'm going to use the follow me command anymore. I want my vassals to choose to follow me out of their own volition. Also, I think it'll make things too easy. Oh no, so I got caught by these guys. Huh, pull back. They don't have any land left, so if they die, they'll just despawn. But I'll let my lords take them out. I don't think that they can replenish their troops without a castle, so... So they'll die sooner or later, most likely. Okay, nice. Faction eliminated. The Nation of Tears, no more. Okay, so now we can focus all of our attention onto the Sea Folk. Wow, guys, look at this. So, Falion Boda has 540 troops. I'm not really sure how she even got that many. Maybe she took a lot of people prisoner. And I have a really good relationship with her, even though I'm not stacking her. Because I'm pretty sure she's friends with the other Shadow Spawn Lords, and I've been giving them a lot of fiefs, and she likes that. So that's pretty cool. The Wrecking Crew is here. We're gonna go take out Jafar. Yeah, this castle's done. 312. It's over. Wow, Messalana just killed like a lot of our guys. The friendly fire. Wow, this is such a cluster right now. Eek. Wow. 120 casualties to 200, so they did put up quite a fight. Something that's really annoying is like, I'm max leadership right now, but I still have to run from these dragon sworn bandits because they're just always aggressive no matter what. So I did recruit some Shinar captains, and they do seem to be the best cavalry in the game with really good armor and beastly horses, and these horses do seem to be the best in the game as well. I tried looking in the shops for them, but I couldn't find any. Okay nice, I have a squad. I'm going to try to attack this far matting stronghold again, even though it's far away. I think I just have to be more patient and wait for my vassals to come to me. It seems like the key is that you don't want to get too far ahead of them. You want to wait for them to catch up if you get out of sight. Okay, we're finally here. We snuck up on it a little bit. Okay, let's attack her before she can get inside the castle. 600 against 400, so a little rough. Especially considering that we want to take the castle out afterwards. That was not very smart of her. I guess something bad with these reinforcement waves is it can kind of become a clusterfuck at spawn. Like, you'll see it when the next wave spawns in. Yeah, there it is. Especially if your troops are just completely dominating them. It can become a little bit bad, if that's the case. These guys do look pretty cool, but they are still really weak. Oh wow. Okay, we did it, their queen is down. You know what, I'm just going to take them prisoner for now, just so we have more time to recoup our troops before she spawns in. 
and helps them defend. I'm pretty sure I can just release her later after talking to one of my Chamberlains. Um, okay, so it has about 800. It seems pretty risky, but this is our best shot, so let's go for it. Wow, fuck. I hate drag cars. They're, they're stupid. They are really dumb. Wow. Fuck. Why me? Alright, I gotta stand in the back. What? They still target me. What is this bullshit? Shadow spawn troops are so overpowered. It's crazy. So it seems like they have all shadow spawn troops because the shadow spawn used to own this castle. So yeah, this is actually a really hard castle to, to take then. I need to come back with my full squad. So yeah, I can just release her by talking to my constable. Apparently we have a couple prisoners. I did not know that. So I'm pretty sure I did not take these guys prisoner. I think my lords took them prisoner and they haven't been offered ransom money yet, but this is nice. I can get free honor from this, I guess. Okay, nice. We caught them. That was actually pretty good. We're in the water and we're attacking them. So I think it's probably the most fair to just board the enemy. They have a lot of spellcasters and we have a lot of spellcasters. So this might be a massacre on both sides. I guess we'll find out. Um, you know what? This is not worth it. I got, I got knocked out anyway, but we need to fight these guys on land or we're going to get destroyed. I was, I was going to say, if these guys joined in, I might be better off letting it auto-calc. I don't know, auto-calcing could definitely be better in some situations, but it could be cheesy as well, so I probably will not auto-calc. But yeah, if you have a huge numbers advantage, auto-calcing is pretty decent if you want to win at all costs. But as you can see, we're just getting destroyed here, like... It's 800 against 100. Yikes. Not good. These sea folk, man. No. Yeah, boarding the enemy is terrible if they have casters. This is a weird situation, though, because we're getting massacred, so I don't really want to keep fighting. But if I back out, we'll just auto calc them down. So, kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place there. I could say defend our ships, but that seems kind of cheesy since we're the one that attacked them. I guess we'll just board them, and if we take heavy casualties again, I'll just back out and let my lords auto calc them down. So I guess I am sort of a hypocrite, but... But I don't know, we were getting dis... Oof. But I don't know, we were getting destroyed in that one battle. I did not want to keep going. It was not looking good. Uh, so I guess I'll try to find the ladder to get back up. I don't know what else to do. Okay, I found a ladder. Could be one. Oh man, I, I hate these sea battles, man. So it does seem like some of the casters have a spell that can make one of the enemy troops betray their teammates and fight for us. So that actually seems pretty strong. Yeah, if we fight them on land, it's pretty easy. Actually, you know what? I think my tactics are a little off. I should probably go and attack Dashar because it'll have less troops since it's a castle. I think that's the play I want to go for. And taking this out last might be easier since it's closer to us. Yeah, this is easier to take out. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so it seems like the Seafolk actually do have another property over here. The reason I'm not leaving this for the last one to take is because all the Seafolk Lords are over here anyway, since this is their capital. So if I have to battle through all of their Lords and take this first, then I'll just have to do that again here. So it would just be extra work. One left, but I think it'll be pretty hard. Oh man, they're all rushing me and there's so many of them. Fuck, I don't want to fight them in the water. That's a, that's a terrible idea. This seems really tough, actually. I'm not really sure about this. Seems like they're rushing us. 
So if I join this battle here, the rest of my lords won't join, so I think I have to wait. Okay, now I can join. 1,100 against 500. So definitely in our favor. So I'm just going to charge my troops, and the reason why I'm doing that is because... Usually I like to charge my infantry first, but no matter what I order, the other lords will just charge in on their horses, so I don't want them to charge in alone since they're so powerful. All of my lords' cavalry will listen to me if I tell them not to charge, but they themselves won't, so yeah, I just have to tell everyone to charge. I'm gonna issue my archers to hold this position. Just fire on their spawn, pretty much. Oh man, they're rushing our archer line. Book. Okay, nice, our infantry's helping. Okay, so the first wave was about 150 to 350, so pretty even, I guess, but this next wave should be better. Okay, 60 to 190. But the thing that concerns me is that they still have a lot more lords left. I really don't know if we can do this. I don't know, maybe we should just choose them, and then I'm pretty sure if I just wait them out, since they only have one building, I'm pretty sure that a lot of their lords will lose relationship and eventually defect. So honestly, it's probably just wiser to try to try and truce them and wait it out. If this siege fails, I will do that. So we have a thousand against their 1500 and this is not going to work like straight up. And yeah, let's truce each other for the time being. I, I just can't do this like they're way too powerful. I need to wait for their faction to weaken first before killing them.